So in this video, we'll discuss how to uh, trade the pin bar. The pin bar is also known as a hammer or inverted hammer. If you see this candle in this picture, this is a pin bar. Right? So uh, in the pin bar, the characteristic is the wick is longer. The wick is longer. compared to the body of the candle. So if you see uh, this uh, pin bar is called as hammer and this pin bar is called as inverted hammer. Now normally when people trade pin bar they look for 2 is to 1, 2 is to 1 wick to body ratio, 2 is to 1 wick to body ratio. That's how people normally trade the pin bar. But that pin bar gives lot of false signal. So in order to avoid that what we what we do is we look for a pin bar in which the wick to body ratio is 3 is to 1 right that means this is this is called as wick this is called as wick of the pin bar this is called as body of the pin bar this is the body of the pin bar this is the wick of the pin bar so wick to body ratio this wick to body ratio should be 3 is to 1 at least 3 is to 1 if it is more than that that is better but at least 3 is to 1 that means if the body is 30 meters uh, so the body is 30 meters long uh, for example 30 uh, millimeter long if the, if the body is 30 millimeter long the wick has to be 90 millimeter long that means the wick has to be thrice uh, than the body so wick has to be thrice than the body right three times than the body length of the wick has to be three times than the body so that is uh, one condition and if we find such a pin bar the chances or the odds of success are greater compared to this 2 is to 1. Other thing which we look for is the close percentage that means when uh, where the uh, the candle closed now you see if you if you see this candle let's say this is a bullish candle it opened here this is the open of the candle and this is the close of the candle right so this candle if this is the hundred percent length of the this length is hundred percent 100% length out of this 100% length in the top or bottom 35 percentage if it is a bullish pin bar or if it is a hammer the body has to close uh, sorry the candle has to close in the top top 35% right in this case also the candle has to close close in the bottom 35% right if the closing is in the bottom 35% or top 35% that is a better pin bar to trade Right. So two conditions, the wick has to be three times compared to the size of the body or length of the body. Other condition is the close of the candle. This is the close of the candle, right? The close of the candle has to be in the 35%, either in the top 35%, if it is a bullish pin bar, and if it is a bearish pin bar, it has to be in the bottom 35%. So if these two conditions are satisfied that pin bar can be traded for profit right so how to trade then the next question is how to trade the pin bar right so to trade the pin bar we should try to spot we should try to spot the pin bar either at the support or resistance either at the support or resistance right now when the market is in the uptrend when the market is in the uptrend you should try to find the pin bar at the pullback so this is the uptrending market the price is going higher 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 right and this is this is a pullback this is a pullback pullback that means this is a slight correction right and um, and, and it is taking support at this trend line the market is taking support so you should try to spot this pin bar at this support and if you are able to find this pin bar at this support you should trade it you should you should either um, try to buy at the high of this pin bar right Right. you should try to buy at the high of this pin bar or depending on the, your trading methodology how do how do you train the uh, trade the candlesticks right but if you spot the pin bar at the support you you may trade that pin bar right in the uptrending market the the pin bar should be spotted this is the uh, spotted at the support this is the correct location to trade a pin bar again if you trade here the chances of success or the odds of success are higher right so for example now if this is a support line this is a support line this is a support line right 
the market is going down right the market is going down and if if, if you spot a support if you spot a pin bar at the support and this is a bullish pin bar of course this is also a bullish pin bar bullish pin bar means bullish pin bar means okay, the market has rejected the lower prices these are the lower prices right these are the lower prices the market has reject, rejected the lower prices that means the bs try to pull the market down but eventually bull, bulls came in and those bulls uh, pushed um, pushed the prices higher so this is called as rejection of the lower prices the lower prices are rejected here right so bulls were more powerful compared to bears that's what this pin bar suggest right so we should try to spot uh, such a spin bar such a bullish pin bar this is this is a bullish pin bar if we spot a bullish pin bar at the support right so you should trade the better safest entry will be uh, enter here at the at the top at the top or at uh, uh, when when the when the high of this pin bar is taken off right at the high of this pin bar you should enter right that will be the safest entry okay but the more aggressive entry can be here the more aggressive entry can be here right? so uh, that is how you trade the pin bar at the support right but uh, how to trade a pin bar at the resistance right so now if uh, if the market is down trending if the market is down trending that means the prices are going down prices are going down and there is a small pullback here there is a small correction in the price here so you should try to spot a bearish pin bar here this is a bearish pin bar in the bearish pin bar the prices higher prices are rejected these are the highest higher prices prices so these higher prices are rejected right that means the bears are more powerful compared to the bulls so initially the bulls taken the prices high but uh, eventually bears came in and those bears uh, pushed the prices lower this is rejection of the higher prices right so if you are able to spot such a pin bar at the resistance this is a resistance line right so if you are able to spot a pin bar at this uh, resistance uh, the, uh, the, you, you can trade that pin bar with the good chance of success right similarly if this is a horizontal resistance line right the mark prices are moving up and if you spot a pin bar here if you spot a pin bar here right so that indicates the reversal of the market right so it was the the prices were going higher and if you spot a pin bar here it, it indicates the uh, the reversal possible reversal of the prices of the market right so market uh, you see can go down from here right so the the point is the 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 point is the pin bar pin bar bullish bullish pin bar that means this is a bullish pin bar this is a bullish candle right so it should be it should be traded at uh, the support at the support right support may be like this this kind of support with the pullback right so here you should be able to spot if you spot this here you can trade it or if you have horizontal support market was going down you spotted such a pin bar here you can trade it so this is called as hammer so inverted hammer can be uh, called as a bearish pin bar so such a pin bar is called as bearish pin bar right so you can trade that pin bar at the resistance right so this is the resistance line if you, if you find that pin bar at the resistance you can trade it so this is also called a resistance line market was going higher right you spotted the pin bar here right so then you can trade it and the market may mode, may go down from here but the, the but the point is point is the two important conditions the two important conditions are size of the wick size of the wick the wick should be three times than the size of the body that means wick to body ratio is wick should be three is to one right that's the first condition second condition is close close of the pin bar close of the pin bar you see the, this is the close let's say this is the close right and it is in the, this is 50 percent of the body uh, uh, this is the 50 percent of the of the uh, candle right 50 percent 
So this is the lower 50%, but we want the close to be in the lower 35% or in the higher 35% in, in case of bullish pin bar, right? So the close has to be in the 35% either lower or upper. So now let us take an example here. So let me show you an example. So here is an example uh, uh, of a nifty 50 chart. So this is a nifty 50 chart and this you can see a support line because it's joining uh, these two swing lows. You see this th this line is joining these two two swing lows and if you see at the support at the support if, if you see this is a pin bar this pin bar can be spotted here right you can see here so this is a perfect pin bar it is the body uh, the wick is three times the body right that's the first condition satisfied and again uh, you see the close is in the top 35 percentage the close is in the top 35 percentage right so so both conditions this pin bar i'm talking about so both conditions are satisfied and also we found that pin bar at the support level at the support level right so you see from here the prices started going up the prices started going up right, right. so so that uh, you see the market has moved here the market was 1460 something and here the market is approximately 14800 right that means the prices moved up uh, approximately four 350 points right so that's kind of that kind of move we got got from here right so thus uh, we can trade the uh, pin bar right so so i hope uh, it will help in your trading so thanks for watching